Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Untapped Juice here today. And today we're having another sit down session just with me only because uh I'm alone. I'm a loner. But hey, it's your boy Juicy with the juice said the R on. Let's restart. It's your boy Untapped Juice here with the juice bringing you another Sit down with Juicy. Talk about. Let's talk about Xenoverse Two, man. Um. So, I watched the trailers. I watched a couple videos on it, and um, turns out this game is gonna be actually pretty fun. Well, with the transformations, let's let's talk about transformations here. Now, if you guys know me, I love using the Earth characters because I think they they're the strongest the strongest characters in the game. Now, pretty much granted, they are the strongest characters in the game. And let's uh, talk about that transformation that they're gonna have in Xenoverse 2. So they get the Nimbus and a Power Pole. I all okay. I I'm a little bit upset because they could have did so much better with that. Like they could have did unlock potential. Like they could have made that ten times better for the human. They could have did the match Broly when the, everybody gets buffed. Like all these other races, they got something real cool. Like the freaking the, um freaking the Nephians, They freaking get giant. Okay, that blue automatically hits the treadmill and goes skinny. Like. And then, like, you have your Saiyans going Super Saiyan 3. And Freezer Race is going Super Saiyan God. Now, what do we, us humans, get? A Nimbus and a Power Pole. Now, that's what I got bad about it. I mean, because that's not really too flashy. I mean, that's something you've seen in Dragon Ball. That wasn't even relevant in Dragon Ball Z for, like, the first, that was only relevant for, like, the first five episodes. Right, everybody else just started flying. So like, what's the relevancy? Like, that's not relevant at all. But uh, now the good side. Now obviously, the uh, Nimbus humans can't fly. So I mean, some humans can, some most humans can't. I mean, Krillin, all of them, yes, they can fly. I mean, so yeah. But I see why they added the Nimbus because that adds like the Earthling type build. Because like, not most humans can fly well earthlings can fly and the power pole I mean that's a good accessory but at the same time that's something that Goku had not really a human but it do add a lot of versatility to the game because now that thing can have some reach on it like bang like, you see that reach on that mother god dang man say if you just flying around on that name then you hit a nigga like hold on bang like look at that reach lord have mercy that's a killer. That's a that's a one hit wonder right there. Like you can get. I'm pretty sure you can pull off some uh, mean combos with that thing, man. I mean, it's endless possibilities that you can do with this move. Now that's that's bad. I mean, that's not the bad things, but that's the good thing. Hey, man, that's the good things we can do. You know, I'm doing one take. Okay, if I mess up, forget it. We doing one take. I'm a one take wonder right now. It's pretty tired. You know, it's about 2:30 in the morning. But that's pretty much all I have to say about these power poles, man. I mean, it's a power pole, you know. That's not that really caught my eye when I saw this get put into the game. They could have gave us a sword or something. But hey, I'm 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 good with the power pole because I mean, power poles are awesome. Let's talk about the other transformations. Um. I, re I really don't like the uh, the boo uh, transform transformations just because everybody was expecting to become like to create a skinny boo instead of having a transformation as a skinny boo because there's no telling how long that transformation is going to last and there's no telling if you can even like if you would either go like what's better going okay what's better in the fat boo or transformation into the skinny boo because 
remember in Xenoverse 1, if you go Super Saiyan, that's a, you at a huge disadvantage if you're playing against a competitive player. Because all they're going to do is fly around until your stamina goes out and beat the living fuck out of you. Now, that's the downside. That's the downside. There's always the downside to a transformation. And I wonder, what would be the downside for all these transformations that are getting put into the game? Please comment in the comment section below what you guys think the downfall would be for this game you know hopefully it's not too drastic and that's pretty much all I had to say for these uh transformations man you guys keep it juicy man it's your boy on tap juice and I'm out peace man